Hello everyone, it's the Zelda Dungeon crew back at you, but we are joined today by a very special guest. We have Avi. That's me. Avi. Hello, I'm Avi. <laughs> That's Avi. Thanks for joining us. It's This is going to be, I think, one of our most unique videos that we've done so far with this with this gang. Yeah, well thanks um, for having me. Yes. Uh, Nico, Nico, why don't you why don't you say what we're going to be doing today? Yeah. So um, I noticed that a lot of us like me included, but especially like Avi and a lot of our friends in Zelda Dungeon have been taking a lot of really cool photos and screenshots of their playthroughs of Tears of the Kingdom. And I thought it would be fun for us to share some of our favorites so far. Um, which if you guys want to share some of yours, the Zelda Dungeon Discord is a great place to do so. We have some uh, channels specifically for Tears of the Kingdom posting your fun pictures, but we thought we would share five of our um, favorite screenshots each. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Little a little screenshot show and tell. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should we should have a place where like if you post screenshots, maybe we could share some of people's That'd in be the fun. future. Yeah. Maybe in our you know, we have one in their Z D YouTube that's for our YouTube videos. Yeah. If you post some screenshots in there, maybe we could share them in I think that'd be great. Videos. Yeah. Well sweet. Mm -hmm. Um and we're gonna try we're gonna try not to, you know, spoil anything. So Yeah, no no, gonna, like, no major spoilers. We'll we'll do our best. <laughs> but here's the final boss. <laughs> Nothing like that. So. Yeah, mostly like uh, beginning of the game, a couple outfits, um, a couple characters, but nothing, nothing too spoilery, especially story wise. No story spoilers. Should we hop over to the pictures, our screenshots? Let's, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Um, it's uh, uh, ultra hand time. <laughs> <laughs> we need ultra hand. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. We can't totem time because we're not in a totem. We're in a line. <laughs> we're we're glued together. In we're a line here. of twenty one logs end to end, <laughs> which is apparently the max. <laughs> Seems necessary. I could I cannot think of a single reason you need twenty one logs. <laughs> But... What problem can you fix with 21 logs? That's a great point. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. All right. We're going to start with the one and only Gooey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and we can see here oh, yeah. our uh, our progress we've made. So I've got yeah. a full row of hearts and I've got two stamina wheels. And uh, as you can see, I think this we discovered last week. I haven't gotten a lot of light roots. I got to go down to the depths some more. But you've got a um, solid amount of shrines. Yeah, yeah. Look Anyone's at all those hearts. Like, <laughs> I can't resist doing a shrine when I come by one. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty fun. All right, Goo, you want to show off your first picture? Yeah, what do we what do we got here? We got this baby. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I just wanted to show off um my my first horse that I got in the game. Good this horse. Is, uh... Uh -huh. <laughs> What's their this name? Is, uh, Trippy. Nice. This is named <laughs> named after the composer of the uh, CDI Zelda games, Tony oh, Trippy. Tony Trippy. <laughs> Shout out. Um, <laughs> Shout and out I, I kind of <laughs> overall, I just sort of have liked this. I've liked this. It's like such a basic horse. Like its stats are low, and sure. I kind of switch between horses. But I, I've been a very horse focused <laughs> in my Tears of the Kingdom playthrough i'm going yeah. all the stables you know getting all the pony points and uh i don't know i was just really proud of my uh my collection of horses i've bonded with them all you know mm -hmm. um, as you do and yeah i've liked this uh i kind of stuck with this out outfit which the, you've uh, dyed you customized yes, I, it i was like i kind of wanted to give it i like i love the look of it i actually love the like default colors but i kind of liked giving it the classic zelda like color scheme sort of so it's, the default colors are a little all over the place they're fun but there's like eight different colors going on so it's kind of nice to keep it all simple you know simplified a bit i had to do the thing where i kept the pants separate because otherwise they would have been all green i'm like that's a little <laughs> weird it's a bit much all the green yeah <laughs> yeah and then i just like this view also from lookout landing it's so. beautiful Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of my favorite 
it's you know pretty basic was my favorite location in the game i think i love hanging out there it's a nice new like town if you want it's not quite a town it's like a home base but i love Mm -hmm. it a lot and the music is very cute i like the lookout landing music Music, a lot i love it yeah i'm curious how long did it take you to catch this horse (laughs) this horse um this one was not too tough Okay. I've not I've not had too much issue with the horses because I uh-huh. always have had stamina food. Mm-hmm. So um, Avi, it makes... um, how long did it take you to catch your first horse? It it took me exactly three in-game days of crouched following <laughs> this herd of horses around their like circular what? progression. <laughs> An hour and a half because I, I picked out this one horse and I was like, I want you. <laughs> um, wow. And it, it was just being really elusive. It kept running away from me. Dedication. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we talk horse names too? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that horse was named Herschel. Herschel. We love Herschel. Herschel. That's a good, great name. My uh, my go to horse right now is Blors, which um, Gooey <laughs> and I blue? actually named at the same time. I was like, what should I name this blue horse? And we both out loud said Blors. Blors. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> so I love my Blors. <laughs> I've tried to make mine all uh, CDI themed. I love so I've it. mostly been naming them after characters mostly. So I've got um well that one's the composer but then i've got my best horse i think i have is morshu who's the shopkeeper Uh you know from those games uh there's another one i have who's i had him for i was using him for a while but i'm not as close with this one but his name's grimbo gotta love grimbo Um, what did grimbo do wrong I don't know. He's just he, he wasn't that good, oh, you know, yeah, he's fine. I mean, tri- Trippy is the worst one, but I just kind of like special to me. Right. He's the first, your first one I got. I gave him the little mohawk. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, And then I named one. Uh, There's one you have to get like a quest where you have to capture one. It was mm-hmm. a goofy looking horse. And I named it squat which is like the magic carpet guy in the beginning of that. When he goes squat we're <laughs> off. Very nice. <laughs> Those are my horses. I, I love the horses. <laughs> McKenna, do you have any fun fun names for your horses? Um, So I feel like I always end up naming horses after like the goddesses. Like I have a horse named Nehru. Uh, I have a horse named Hylia. But uh, I think my favorite horse name this playthrough is Oddish. <laughs> it is an all black well mostly black horse and it's kind of a reference to the gloom in this game yeah uh for all you pokemon fans out there <laughs> that's Love too it. good that's such a good name mm. Goo, do you want to hop over to your next pick yeah let's do it you got this guy oh, yeah <laughs> wow <laughs> with a little bit of sass in the background going on this composition only... is beautiful yeah thank you thank you this is the one where like because i'm not i gotta say i love that the game gives you prompts for taking photos because i normally i didn't do like the compendium much in the last game like i'm just it's not what i'm normally thinking of so it's been cool to like have like oh like i have to take a picture of this well like at first i was just like whatever i'll snap it but as it's gone on i've been like oh and i get a good shot um but this one I was like one of the only ones where I had no reason to take it. I was just like, look at these, look at the horns there. And I pulled it up and I noticed the guy standing in the background. And <laughs> yeah, you know, then I, then I was like, oh, I got to get like, let's get a good composition. It's beautiful. Here. So, it is a I'm so, phenomenal photo. Thank you. I, I made it, um, you know, there's a place in the game where you can uh, pick any picture you want to put up. And I mm-hmm. made this one. It. It's, uh, <laughs> That's cute. That's really sweet. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Let's look at what else you got. Oh, oh, I love this one. <laughs> so this has a great story behind it because there is a there's a stable quest you get where mm-hmm. they're like, I want a picture of the bell in um, uh, Terrytown. So I'm like, OK, well, I'll go get it. And I'm like, oh, it's like nighttime and there's the lights. And I pull out my camera and as I'm looking at it, there's the falling star just comes into frame. And I was so like, so cool. I couldn't believe it. I was like, is this like a trick? Is this scripted? You know, (laughs) (laughs) 
Now, here's a here's a question about the the falling stars for you guys. How many of you have caught one while diving? Yes, I I think all of us have except for you. No, I haven't (laughs) haven't done it yet. It's happened to a lot. I've seen a lot of people catching them. And it's I think one day on stream, I caught three falling stars while diving. Does that make you a falling star? I'm a rising star. (laughs) (laughs) Sure. An ascending star. It's just very, yes, an ascending star. (laughs) It's so like magical. We could share videos in the future of this if people want to see it Mm. happening. But it is just so cool to see, you know, you're diving, you're looking at where you want to go. And all of a sudden you hear this sparkly sound Mm. behind you and it's just a falling star right next to you. And you get to dive a little bit and snatch it up. It's super cool. So cool. (laughs) That's that's what got me to thinking about it, because I was Mm -hmm. like, I've seen it happen to so many people. I was like, there must is there like a thing they're doing where they know it's got to be like a small percent chance roll kind of thing. RNG situation that's it's that's so very cool, cool though it's like a it's like a magic trick you yeah know? <laughs> and because the um the falling stars are just like more common in this game just in general which makes sense things are falling from the sky so that's not a surprise um try it fusing them to shields and weapons and stuff it's pretty cool oh yeah like, I've, I've been like hoarding the ones i've got but i don't know why. exactly like you always think like, oh i gotta <laughs> hoard these because they're special but they're a little bit more abundant now so try fusing mm-hmm. it that's yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I, I think in Breath of the Wild, I actually only ever really got one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I just didn't go after them as much. Whereas I'm sure. Like, yeah. And it's more abundant, too. So I'm just mm-hmm. like more motivated to go get them, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think we have one more photo for Gooey. Let's sh- or maybe two. I think, I think two, two more. more. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> another. So this is another. <laughs> Another stable photo, which I like this quest a lot. They're like, there's a stable. They're like, I need a Goron chilling in a spring. And you can take a picture of a bunch of Gorons in the spring. And I'm watching this guy. I took a couple of them (laughs) just chilling there. And then eventually he goes like, "Ah." and I was like, oh, my. (laughs) That's the one. (laughs) Also, check out the ZD Discord if you want to see Gooey's new profile picture. Because you might recognize it. (laughs) We found that one. (laughs) <laughs> oh, so cute. oh my god uh, okay now i think you have one more and yes, this one's oh, pretty i was pretty epic this was one for another quest someone's All like right. i need a picture of a battle talus oh yes Ooh. look at that <laughs> wow <laughs> with the, with the yeah. explosion <laughs> i think i was too like i was like oh i gotta i gotta get a shot of this and then like as i, I was trying to get closer i was like oh, i, I I don't know why for this one you, you didn't really need a good shot but i was like i'm gonna get a cool one as i was walking up you know i saw the exclamation points of them noticing me and stuff and like <laughs> shooting and i'm like oh no <laughs> yeah i love it uh, i'm proud of this one <laughs> mm-hmm. very actiony have you have you taken down a lot of battle talus or a couple yeah yeah i've run across a few and they're they're always fun to fight like they are love do it like ascending to get on top and stuff. yeah i've really Tells enjoyed are fun to I, fight in general oh 100 percent. i really enjoyed using the model bud on oh, the battle yeah. tatlas mm. specifically because they they shake idea. they shake all the bokoblins off and mm. for the most part the bokoblins die pretty quick <laughs> <laughs> you can get, get rid of them of the pretty way. easy oh man well nice pictures gooey Claps all yeah. around. Good job. Yeah. Uh, um <laughs> up next we have my uh nico's nifty screenshots um there's a theme going on here look at those batteries (laughs) i have been focusing on (laughs) batteries because i want my cool devices to go on forever (laughs) so i've i've been fair a lot of zonite a whole lot of zonite i've spent a lot of time in the underground i only have 41 light light root but like that's a solid chunk you know seems like you're like really combing every inch of that i am depth, then. yeah <laughs> i'm doing what i can um i only have 115 koroks but that's enough to have increased my stuff a lot so that's been nice too yeah nice but yeah my first picture is one that avi just saw actually um in his playthrough mm-hmm. um it's this which is the um beautiful. end of the Rito quest uh the main quest this shot is it was just beautiful you've got the Rito flying around um the village with the 
the sunrise going on it's like it's a scripted sunrise like that's just gonna happen it's so <laughs> it's picturesque you i i could have probably timed it a little bit better to have the heart a little bit more noticeable mm. um it's actually something i noticed right off the bat it's in your picture it's noticeable it's yeah. not quite perfect <laughs> not quite it's natural not perfect well <laughs> i don't know about it's that very cute. Yeah, I just this quest was so fun. It and I mean we've already talked about it here um on the channel, but I mean the fact that you can like see the skyship arc like way mm -hmm. up there in the mm -hmm. distance and um I don't know, it was just Tulin's character made me very emotional, very like Link is like an older brother type figure to him and so I thought mm -hmm. it was really sweet and so this was like what a beautiful ending to that little portion of the game. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. I had to. Um, my next one is from oh. a side quest, um, which I won't say the side quest because um, I really want people to find it on the, their own, which you will. It's it's a fairly easy one to find um, as long as you're just doing stable one. stuff. Mm -hmm. But this little cutscene was like the cutest thing I think I've ever seen in a video game. It made me so happy, and all the fireflies coming mm. out of the tree was just so pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. I loved it. This, this we don't have to get into it now, but mm -hmm. like I was thinking, this all around this whole quest that it's tied to, we'll yeah. definitely do like a video just on hundred percent and all the different parts because it was really, really fun. Yes, mm -hmm. um, I'll nudge you towards this one. I think you'll <laughs> like it a lot. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. I've I've just been very um, happy with the side quests in Tears of the Kingdom comparative mm -hmm. to Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild side quests were fun, but it feels like Tears of the Kingdom has just like more payoff, um, be it like what you're getting out of it, like a physical item or just like characters, like NPCs connecting, reconnecting, getting to know each other better. Um, and it makes the world feel bigger, um, which I think is really nice. Mm. And as as you can see there, there's a stable there. Yeah. And, and it's like mm -hmm. really, again, with, with the stables and stuff, like it really makes them all like worth visiting. Like there's some mm -hmm. in um, my first playthrough of Breath of the Wild, like I got to the end of the game before I even went to certain places. Yeah. Whereas in this game, like they do a good job of like wanting to push you even further to like go check out all the stables and what's going on there and like oh can i get the photo there and yeah know, they definitely feel class, like you know hubs they 100 percent are with lots of things to do and lots of hints a whole lot of mm -hmm. hints and every they they feel more unique now um mm -hmm. i felt like in breath of the wild almost every stable felt exactly the same with like maybe one interesting npc um now each one is like completely its own thing which i like i like a lot mm -hmm. um another really fun interesting little spot is inside of lookout landing you've got the emergency shelter um which is like a fun oh, yeah. a fun little place for you to get some cooking done there's a goddess statue in there whatever you need to get done but um i noticed last time i was playing i went down there and i saw a dude sleeping and his name happened to be napping <laughs> <laughs> and so i was just I, I had to take a picture i was like is this dude just always sleeping is that the guy who's like no one will notice that so. i'm pretending to sleep yeah <laughs> his name is literally napping napping oh my god I think, I think there's another guy too who will like sometimes be like looking at him being like what's going on with this you know <laughs> like this guy's always sleeping or something which like the the NPCs, they're all so like have such fun personalities, um, and again, it makes the world feel bigger because it feels like these are real people like living their lives in Hyrule, trying to help however they can. Maybe they're part of like the monster squad or whatever <laughs> they're doing, or um, you know, they're they're helping rebuild. They're working at stables. They're doing something. They're napping. They're in this case, <laughs> he's napping. Um, but I, it's really I fun to see all the personalities. Of, I, I like this like crew or whatever. It's even larger than a crew, but it, it reminds me a little bit of the, you know, the team, the 
champions or whatever you team up with in uh twilight princess i forgot what they're called yeah but, i don't um, remember what they call themselves uh so, they're they're like the adventurer team or, yeah <laughs> the shat squad like the, <laughs> just that whole i actually there's all these different troops that i sort of like there's like the armies and there's mm-hmm. like the zoni researchers and i i don't know i like kind of getting to be like it's like you almost get to like join all these little groups and and help them out with their quests it's yeah it's fun they're all very motivated all the characters yeah Yeah. it's fun because like they are they're like wanting to do they're like essentially doing the same thing we're doing players you know what i mean and it's i think it makes it more fun than in breath of the wild like we're like everyone kind of knows the story or like you know you're learning things i like in this where it's like you know you're like going around and there's like the zoni researchers and they're like we're trying to figure out what happened too you know mm-hmm. so like like it makes like getting like oh like these juicy little bits of like the lore and the details or like with the armies like beating the monsters like i don't know it just it makes it even more fun that you're like working together with some other characters you know oh definitely i like it a lot <laughs> um i think i have i have two more pictures this mm. one is uh Oof. from one of the cherry blossom trees as i have um fed probably a golden apple to satori i like giving golden apples because you can take them right back um <laughs> which i feel a little guilty but i mean i take it back um he didn't need it i'm sorry um <laughs> he's not hungry i the first time i fed satori and like did this it was the one in um hyrule field actually not this one over by rito village but i remember just being like this was a beautiful moment Mm -hmm. what just happened Mm -hmm. (laughs) um and it was it was very cool because it it took me a little bit as i was like riding around and i'm like hey what these what are these pillars of light like i need to go to all of these and like collect something and i (laughs) i went to one and i was like oh it's a cave cool and i went into the cave i found the bubble frog i did all that um and then there was still more they were still there and i followed another one and it was another cave entrance and i'm like oh so satori is going to be helping me complete my map thank you very much (laughs) the completionist in me is very happy to have a system like this which seems very unnecessary but it is a wonderful little thing little quality of life with a little Mm -hmm. like lore thrown in Mm -hmm. so that's kind of fun it is like it's awesome it it is like awesome but unnecessary at the same time Mm -hmm. only because it's nice it's in the game because mm-hmm. there are people who aren't going to look online, but I feel like for me, like if you're going to use it like to 100% everything, at some point it's going to be easier to go to Zelda Dungeon and just pull up the interactive map. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. You if know, you haven't it. been using the interactive map for Tears of the Kingdom, <laughs> check it out, everybody. It's on ZeldaDungeon.net. But this is such an awesome implementation of it in mm-hmm. the game to like actually, you know, naturally guide you towards these things. Oh, yeah. You've only done it the one time. Like, I kind of figure, like... Really? Yeah, I'm usually not, like... Just the way I'm playing, I'm not, like, often looking for caves. It's more sure. fun when I come across them. But I could mm-hmm. see myself at some point, you know, being like, I gotta find some caves. And I actually... The reason I got this screenshot is because I was trying to find a cave in this area. Um, and I was like, there's gotta be a way to get to this one spot. And I'm like, there's probably a cave, but I couldn't find an entrance. So I was like, maybe this will help me out. And I did it. And mm-hmm. I just found out there's no caves nearby. And I was like, well, at least I know <laughs> to stop looking. <laughs> so that was a good yeah. perk. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Um, I have one more picture and it is of so far my favorite place to explore just the depths mm. i love Ooh. i love the depth very nice a lot um not to go too much into it because i feel like the depths is something that i want everyone to like be able to explore on their own because it's something that nintendo did not like promote they didn't put this into any stuff other than like a tv spot and they like mentioned caves and like underground exploring but they didn't tell us it was going to be massive like this you know um but without saying too much some of my favorite things are the light roots themselves um the way that they they don't heal you but they help you um and um the connections um from like the surface to the depths are very fun and you just like keep discovering connections that are 
like, oh, there's something else that's going to be able to help me out. And the flora down here is very cool. It's, very, oh, it's the best. I love it so much. It's this just is such a good framing too actually the mm -hmm. close up on the Thank grass look or at whatever. that rule of thirds yes i <laughs> yes. used the rule of yeah. thirds <laughs> <laughs> we'll definitely do a depths video too we'll have a few sure. i'm yeah. sure oh for sure. <laughs> but um those are those are a few of my favorite pictures i've taken i've taken a lot more but those were a few that i liked beautiful so. Thank you. we'll have to do more photos oh yeah in the future, we can too. do some yeah. clip sharing too for sure Clips. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, up next, we have the wonderful, the beautiful McKenna's Magnificent wow. Captures. <laughs> Look at those hearts. Dang. Look at those Look hearts. At those <laughs> Hot dang. Uh, and Korok seeds. Yep. And the, and the roof is <laughs> nice. <laughs> Plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Been playing a little bit. Just a bit. You gotta go turn in <laughs> yeah. those light of blessings. Come on. I know. Turn well, at this in. point, it's like, oh, what's another few hearts? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing just yeah. fine. Um, we'll mm -hmm. hop over to your first picture, which is like one of the coolest pictures I think we have today. Honestly, this guy right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. How cool. Yeah, I have this. Uh, this piece that's fused to a weapon, and it kind of looks like a sun um and then i i had the the blood moon coming up and i was like oh i wonder if i can like line this up because it would look really cool lit up like that and i got it and i got the pick and i was like oh that's such Gorgeous. a good shot it looks so cool i love it like a magic <laughs> scepter yeah it looks like yeah that. yeah <laughs> that also kind of speaks as like like just for being like a art photography type thing there it does speak to the game a lot because so often I've been telling myself, oh, I wonder, like, I wonder if I can do this. And almost always I can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the answer is, like, always yes. <laughs> yeah. There's just, like, infinite <laughs> possibilities of what you can do in this game. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. Um, I love it. Also, yeah. the bit that you fused on there is very wonderful. I love them a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very powerful. <laughs> this is an interesting oh, photo. Yes. I... Found out you can ride on the dragons in this game, and I thought that was the coolest thing. Uh, oh, yeah. I've I've spent a lot of time on the dragons. I, uh, you know, you can get new resources from them every so often. So at one point, I got a resource, and then I just decided to stay on there. I was like, I'm just gonna relax, have a nice dragon ride, wait for wait for it to start glowing again, so I can get something else. Uh, and I got a, a nice uh, matching outfit here. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. So cool. Uh, like... Link is a little chilly right here because this outfit does not offer cold protection. <laughs> uh, but he can pose. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's not taking it, damage. It, it was hard to get this pick because I had to take it very quickly. Because if you if he takes damage, you like go out of the the camera mode. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So you must have been yeah. like, click, so click, I was click like, <laughs> yeah. the things we do for art. Mm. Oh yes. <laughs> I uh, I was spending a long time on one of the dragons. I was taking some damage and I didn't have anything to help, so I threw a portable pot down on the dragon. <laughs> Cooked what I needed really quick, okay. and then I was okay. <laughs> so you can cook on top of the dragons too. <laughs> I I was yeah. trying to get like a like a claw of one or whatever, and mm -hmm. I accidentally shot the wrong part. So uh, I think McKenna, you had told me like, oh, they it like resets in ten minutes that you can harvest it again. So I just like sat on top of the dragon and was waiting. To it to, for it to like respawn, and then it started diving into the depths. Yeah. So I just grabbed on and like was just like holding on for like you know the whole dive down into the depths. I, yeah, I got you stayed one. on. <laughs> mm -hmm. I followed one down into the depths too, but I guess because of Breath of the Wild, I thought that I should not touch it. So I you didn't got, even. You got yeah. dangerously close. I got dangerously close. I was like, I was like, touch it. Touch it. I can't do it. <laughs> the, yeah, I the don't. The problem I had was I first was waiting towards the head and it's like, it was like spitting mm -hmm. out. It's the stuff and it was coming back and like hitting me. So I was yeah. like, okay, let's 
Let's go towards the back. It's safer back there. I don't remember <laughs> how I first rode the dragon. I feel like I just got close and oh no, I noticed the resource on its back. Mm. And I tried to like fly by and grab it really quick because I knew that I would like hit the dragon and start bouncing off like in Breath of the Wild. But I grabbed it and then I just landed and I was like, oh, I guess we're good. <laughs> so yeah. cool. Yeah, you got to go when, raise some dragons. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think maybe when we're like done with the game, and we do like maybe our, you know, end of game talk. I want to do one mm -hmm. where we like have a screenshot of our heroes paths. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> like, Probably some weird stuff. This. When you're riding the oh, dragon, yeah. it just makes such a beautiful just have like a like, smooth arc. line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. McKenna, we're going to go to your next one, All which right. is, surprise, another beautiful photo. Yeah, this is just, I was I was on a sky island at night, and the, the fireflies came out, and I was like, wow, this is so pretty, and so it, just, pretty. it just took the shot, and it's got this uh, in the background, um, but like way in the back, you can see this island that's a little, got some lights on it, and it's that, it's uh, got some luminous stone on there. Like you see some uh, some NPCs talking about it on the ground. They're like, "Oh, there's like a thing in the sky. It's like a, it's almost like a star." Hmm. Yeah, oh, no, I don't some... think I've seen this. This is cool. They're, they're worth checking out. Yeah, this <laughs> our first Sky <laughs> Island pick. I think uh, so far is it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. It's just funny because there's some good views up there. Oh for yeah, sure. all. Mm -hmm. No kidding. Um, your next one. Mm, Whoa. Is, <laughs> <very time. laughs> is this for a, a calendar? Uh, it should be. <laughs> a, sexy a little link shirt. Link. Yeah, a sexy Link calendar. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, Link, Link deserves to take a, a nice little break in a beautiful spot. Just hanging out. Spot I love time. these cherry blossom trees. Mm. They're so pretty. And then you got like the, the, the lilies and Flora, I think the white ones are like calla lilies. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, just he's just hanging out, showing off his new sleeve. <laughs> Six <laughs> <It's silly. laughs> Um, do you know where this cherry blossom tree is? Which one this is? Uh, I don't know. That is Death Mountain in the background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone somewhere could like triangulate this. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody try Yeah, if anybody this. can figure out which one this is. It's Let a new us side quest. Oh. That is, yeah, that's a good side quest. If you can pinpoint the coordinates of this, um, <laughs> we'll shout you. Well, a little geo guesser. Yeah. Some yeah. Tears of the Kingdom geo guesser for y'all. All right. Yeah. One more of McKenna's, which is very silly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. All right. So this is the same. From the same uh, stable picture quest that Gooey's little Goron baby mm. hot spring was, mm -hmm. I uh, took a picture of this old Goron and I was, you know, I posed for it. And then I took it back to the stable and, uh, and um, I was like, what if I posed again <laughs> in front of my own pic of me? That's so silly. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, it should be you. I want to do like an an in never ending like. Oh my god! Of yeah, <laughs> I was like, how can I do this again? <laughs> I can think well, of can there is a yeah. there is a place in the game where you could do that. And then now you I kind of doing it over and over again. Yeah, now I kind of <laughs> want to do that. Mm -hmm. I would love that. Yeah, I'm gonna do yeah, that. Yeah, you can do this. <laughs> there's a, there's a certain I, I, place. I can. can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you're right. You know where. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> um, awesome, McKenna. Fantastic photos. We love them. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> very beautiful, McKenna. I sometimes McKenna will be like playing on the TV, and I'll be in the living room, and I'll just see McKenna's like screen. She's just like hanging out. She'll just like stand up to <laughs> walk away for a second. And I'm like. How is your screen so pretty right now? She like always <laughs> leaves it on like the perfect like picturesque spot. <laughs> it's very nicely done. Thank you. <laughs> well, next we have Avi's amazing thighs. Hey. Ready? I'm You're ready. gonna show off. <laughs> Just I'm gonna put this out there. Avi is an artist. 
<laughs> so we're wow. setting expectations. We're all about setting time. expectations. <laughs> hold on to your butts. <laughs> hold on to your butts, everybody. <laughs> oh, um, no. First off, you can probably tell. I'm a baby. <laughs> he is a baby. He has not played as much in no. the game. No. I've been busy. Your Korok count, though. Yeah. You're doing well on Koroks. I just take my time and kind of avoid stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm just doing <laughs> the game how it feels right to me. Yeah, we all are all doing our own thing. Like yeah. I said, I'm just riding from stable to stable. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna show off Abby's first picture. Oh, Boom. there's there's oh, my sky. Oh, oh. There we go. Look at that. Honestly, this my... looks like a shot from like the trailer. <laughs> right? <laughs> my favorite thing in this game are the sunrises and sunsets. And I mean it's my favorite thing in real life, but like just it sets off a picture so nicely. And I find myself constantly like I'll just like and this is before I had the camera, so I just like crouch, walk up to a wall, <laughs> turn my camera around. Oh, it's just so pretty. I just I love That's... all the yellow on the Sky Islands. The Sky Islands give me such like golden lands yeah. vibes. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So cool. And like yeah. all the grasses and stuff are, are yellow too. Mm -hmm. Can I slip in? Like I wish there was more um like stuff up there. Like, you know what I mean? Like more like flowers hangout. and stuff. No, oh. just like um, every time I go up there, I, I, I well, I guess you haven't gone up there much, but typically when I've gone up there, it's kind of to do like a puzzle and do mm -hmm. a shrine or whatever. Kind of wish there was like more, um, you know, like down on the surface, there's a lot of areas where I'm like, oh, I'm just chilling here. Yeah, you know, doing like some roaming lands. Mm -hmm. It almost feels up like there, every there's... island has a very specific purpose, mm -hmm. and that's what you do when then yeah, you finish it functional. and you leave. Yeah, um, yeah I love there to be another like big island that's not yes. like the, the, for the dungeons or the yeah. yeah. I will also say, um, I think the it was in a developer interview right before the game came out, they said that they kind of likened the Sky Islands to the islands in Wind Waker, mm. um, where they're very much mm. like, you can you have fun traveling from one to the other, which I like traveling in Wind Waker. Not that everybody does, but that's how I would say it. Um, and like you, you get to the island, you solve the puzzle, you, you complete it, and that's it. It's on your map. You can visit it if you want, but you really don't need to. Um, and they, they kind of mentioned that that's like how they were treating the Sky Islands, which is fair, mm -hmm. because if mm -hmm. the entire sky was full of islands, like dense, that'd probably feel a little weird. <laughs> like you're probably yeah. make the ground rather dark. Yeah, there'd be a lot more <laughs> shadows. <Yeah. laughs> okay. But I do wish there was like just a little bit more in the sky. Because I do want to explore more, mm. but there there are things like that I haven't gone to yet, though. So it's not oh, like totally I'm, like it's not like I'm like done necessarily. And there's some that are like farther away. So I have to go up and like be able to yeah. build a craft or something to get there. Yeah. So and maybe an aspect, up there. maybe an aspect of that is that you're like unlocking the sky map with the the ground map. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like they're the same almost you don't necessarily have to like be exploring the sky to unlock its map right so yeah that's a good point um but still this is still up in the sky your next photo i believe right no this is down on the ground wow you could have told me that was a sky like a low sky <laughs> island and i would believe you but yeah like... no this is this is i was wow. climbing over this is when i was headed to go over to rito village i think Ooh, okay um but i i had an got like the sun it's sunrise again too. yeah right? like, it is <laughs> are you crouching or coming up through a scent i'm crouching okay but i have an elemental weapon okay, equip, I can tell. so it's like <laughs> extra glowy mm -hmm. and then the fire fruit was glowy and then the like those i don't know if those are like forget-me-nots or what but the yeah. the, the blue flowers hylian forget-me-nots short hylian forget-me-nots <laughs> um <laughs> and i just like popped up on top i was like climbing um i do a lot of like parkour <laughs> um, <laughs> in real life all the time in super hard life. parkour yeah. that's what i meant <laughs> um and i just popped right up here and i turned around and it was just like so like striking mm -hmm. and yeah i just had to snap the picture and it's one of my favorites the the Getting glowiness the lighting yeah oh, yeah the glowiness of this game is truly mm. Magical. There are mm -hmm. times where the, everything is like super overexposed, but it's because you're like staring directly at the sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This game just feels so much warmer. It feels more like yellow, more like warm orangey than Breath of the Wild that was so like blue green, blue, green intense. Yeah. 
agree well, yeah. the shield you have there i have that one a lot and mm -hmm. i'll have like the cro construct bow which yeah. they they have sort of the green from the construct but then yeah. i yeah. also like i'll have my green outfit on and so i always feel like the green and gold i'm always like oh it's so nice. classic so cool. zelda so nice i will yes. also <laughs> say the the new like uh zonai construct um like shields and bows and weapons compared to the old guardian ones in my opinion are just like they look way cooler mm. like yeah the the sheik mm -hmm. is very pretty and like the the like browns and oranges with the bright glowy blue like that was cool but the zonai stuff it's like kind of got that more ancient look to it with like the stones and like the fun colors and the like more teal mm -hmm. instead of the light blue i i don't know the colors are a little bit more satisfying to me but... i like that it's not activated all the time yeah that yeah. is kind of nice too. makes it kind of surprising when you pull it out and it's like glowing mm -hmm. yeah. and it's also fun to like have things fused to your shield because it's like a back piece that you always have on oh i love that right yeah. mm -hmm. i like to do the wing um because like it looks like you just got a little bird on your back or star pieces are very very pretty on your shield although it does feel like a waste but like it's it's pretty <laughs> but it's pretty <laughs> we like the glowy right i'm gonna go to your next the one glowy speaking of the glow oh. oh yeah i also got something falling in this picture i just oh I, yeah the towers are just so nice like mm -hmm. the music the way they're lit, lit up what they do to you like when mm -hmm. you activate them <laughs> um <laughs> big into tentacles yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> gotta there, love um, tentacles they don't really say in game like where all the sheikah shrines went mm -hmm. no they? i was wondering but about it... that I sort of get the vibe that they like repurposed all the technology, uh -huh. you know, because like those that. guardian things. Well, yeah, because like the you. plate that you're standing on that like shoots you up, right? Like that that plate that you're standing on looks like just kind of it's the underside of a guardian and the mm -hmm. legs come out from the same ish spot. That's true. So it's like it really could have just been fully recycled Sheikah technology that they've repurposed and they were like, well, towers were a Sheikah thing, so we're going to make those again. That's just like what they know. Reduce, um, reuse, recycle. Yeah, they're big recyclers in Hyrule. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Very environmentally focused. Yes, yes. <laughs> Which I love. But those, those spotlights or whatever yeah. they put on them make them look so cool. They're right? very cool. <laughs> yeah very like showman like i don't know there's something about it where it's like you feel like you're gonna like bust in on like puppet show or something <laughs> you might you, who knows you might yeah, yeah. yeah I, I haven't played the whole game he hasn't played the whole game yet. yet don't tell him about the puppet shows <laughs> yeah i still have two more towers so maybe one of yeah. them is a puppet show. actually both of them are puppet shows oh, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i uh you mentioned the music too i i mm -hmm. like the the music um and like that music and like lookout landing i really love like i can't describe like the vibe of those but they're very both very like i don't know com comfortable <laughs> yeah the little drum beats is what i really like mm -hmm. they kind of have those little like rolling drums that aren't like continuous they're right. really just like a roll mm -hmm. now and then that mm -hmm. kind of give you like a like a preppy, like we can do this kind of feel. Yeah, it gives you a little bubbly feeling. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. You want to go to the next one? Sure, go ahead. I was like, I don't know. I like <laughs> oh yeah, I also love depths. All the the plants down in the depths, the like swirlies. Yeah, the the swirly dudes, the like peacock feathers on the trees. Yeah, trees? Question mm -hmm. mark. Oh. Yeah, are they trees? <laughs> um <laughs> giant mushroom <laughs> the yeah giant mushrooms massive ferns um they're like fiddle leaf ferns but they're huge and purple yeah um the po are so cute mm. um yeah and everything's just like so it's creepy like it's like stale and very like ominous but, I like too when the, like the enemies show up and they're like the glowing red compared yeah. to everything else. It's Got so creepy. Um, um, and just the vibe of seeing like the Poe or like the the potential light roots you could be lighting up like off in the yeah. distance. Mm -hmm. There's something about the depths that just really feels like another world. I mean, I feel like that's what it is. Okay. It just feels mm -hmm. like you're like ex exploring another planet. I genuinely feel like uh -huh. it's meant to be the dark world mm. of 
Tears of the Kingdom. Yep. It's, I mean, and I said it multiple times, like, give us the Dark World. <laughs> and they did. We just didn't expect it. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> um, do you guys ever throw a bright bloom and you're like, oh, that'll go like five feet in front of me and light up this area. But then it, you throw it and it just like falls forever. Keeps going. <laughs> And go, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, when is it gonna? St-? And you just don't even ever see it light up. Yeah. It's like, yeah. oh no, where am I? <laughs> I, I also not, have I'm the not. opposite. <laughs> oh, where and I'm just like, a wall directly. And in front I just of your throw, face. and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm at a wall now. I did not see that at all. <laughs> <laughs> or you'll just get unlucky, and you're in a giant open space, and you throw it, and it hits the mushroom that's directly in front of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the I was surprised by how dark yeah the darkness can actually be in this game it's like the like dark shrines or dark challenges in breath of the wild like the ty- typhlo is that what it is runes mm-hmm. in yeah breath of the wild which is not like that anymore but in breath of the wild it was just pitch black mm. but now you have a whole map that's like that <laughs> yeah it's just wild <laughs> oh it's so pretty it's a great shot Thank I just you. love exploring mm-hmm. the depths. And here's another thing. I've got the whole map of the surface and the sky and then like 20% of the depths. It's hard. It's so hard. It's like scary mm-hmm. <laughs> to keep uh, going. I don't yeah. Know. All right. I think this is our last photo, you guys. Our last Ooh. one from Avi. Oh, it's... yeah. Wow. wow. That's from the very beginning. Like that, right yeah. when you hit the ground. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, the it's thumbnail beautiful. photo uh-huh. for this video. Yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty. Ugh. It's just so That's nice. Just... The lily pads. They're mm-hmm. everything. The lily pads. Yeah, that, that reminds me of when the first time I jumped, you know, out in there. And I, I just looked around and I was like, yeah. This is so beautiful. Just overwhelmed but... with beauty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I have probably spent like a solid 10 minutes just here. Like, I just want to hang out here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you guys get chills when you had to make that first big jump and it did the little, you know, he automatically started doing the glide and he mm-hmm. you know, oh, goes yeah. to the side and the title sequence pops up. I was just like, Ooh, <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> I have a screenshot of that, too. <laughs> oh, that was just that really got me. The mm-hmm. moment it felt like the game really opened up, even though we were mm-hmm. stuck on this giant <laughs> sky island at that point, <laughs> it was still just it felt so magical and so big. nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And again, the, they, they the, like yellow and the pink and the green. Yeah. The little like sunspots happening. Mm-hmm. There's like the, I also just like the music in this part. Yes. Yeah. Like, the little light saxophone accents. <laughs> yeah. Are so good. Is there, is it different when... music for the Great Sky Island compared to other Sky Islands? I can't remember if it is or I don't not. Remember, it, it feels like it was. At least you've got the bell going, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. that kind of oh, stands yeah. out on the Great Sky Island. But other than that, I think the music might be the same. I, I think. I don't know. The moment that actually really got me, um, and I think we might have said this in our first one, but is like the first time. Or I don't know if it's the first time, but for me it was where they kind of guide you to using that glider the wing for the oh, first time yes. and you're just like trying to <laughs> balance on it and is is that where we all area. died for the first time? first death that was not my first death <laughs> oh my god I, I, okay i had been playing i i replayed breath of the wild i was literally playing it the night before tears of the kingdom released so i'm used to using my paraglider and i just like jumped off a tree and went to try to use my paraglider, fell no! and died. Oh no! <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> what was your first death, goo? <laughs> it might have been that. I don't remember. I I don't remember. <laughs> I just I just remember thinking I'd been doing so well, and then I got so wrapped up in like flying. How cool it was! And then I was like, "Oh, I did not plan for the end of this." <laughs> yeah. I, I did definitely die there too, <laughs> yeah. though. <laughs> the uh, this game, I feel like maybe it's because I, because you know, Breath of the Wild or whatever. But I feel like I I've died a lot, but it has it hasn't felt as like like in Breath of the Wild when I said I was dying a lot, and it was like, whoa, this is like this is like really tough. And this one, I've like died a lot over it, but it it never was like not even like a little bit discouraging. It was mm-hmm. usually like funny or. <laughs> 
Like, okay, I just got to like cook some more food or something. You know, it was never like I think frustrating because you know? we're familiar with mm -hmm. the formula mm -hmm. of how open world Zelda works now. It kind of is a little less like, oh, gosh, what am I doing? You know, because mm -hmm. first time playing Breath of the Wild, we were like, we have to cook. What? Where's the potion shop? You know, <laughs> like, where's like, the hearts? Yeah. <laughs> where, where are the heart pieces? How do I find those? Like, <laughs> it's it's so different that now that we understand the Breath of the Wild formula that they've reused and revamped mm -hmm. and added a billion things to, um, I think it feels less like painful to die but it does not mm -hmm. saying like it's not hard because i think tears of the kingdom so far is harder than breath of the wild um in my opinion because some of these things going on i'm just like Oof. <laughs> i don't know yeah. what i'm doing <laughs> i i feel like it can be i just feel like I've, i'm better at like being like oh this is not not yet <laughs> and i'm yeah. just yeah. gonna avoid this for now or whatever, and i think you know? i think the more that you explore like the new things they're offering you the easier the game is oh yeah I have sort of followed too, like not exactly a hundred percent, but if they're like, "Hey, try it," when they were like, "Do this dungeon first, I was like, "Oh, I'll, I'll go that way first, sure." Right. And then, you know, then I was like, "Then I'll explore a little more." But let's see, let's see what they're kind of guiding me to first. I I definitely did some like tutorial shrines yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, so this is how you parry. <laughs> Yeah. I've, I've found a lot of those recently too that i was like i think you want me to go this way a long time ago i guess <laughs> but yeah wow. you guys that was that was awesome thank you guys for sharing your screenshots um keep taking them and everyone watching take screenshots share them with us in the um zd discord just in our discord. in our zd youtube channel right it's where you want them to post them yeah yeah that'd be awesome. cool I'll, I'll definitely see them then and we'll we'll definitely do some more Maybe we can just include some pictures along the way as we yeah. do. Because we're gonna we're gonna keep talking about more aspects of this game. We're probably mm -hmm. gonna talk about the the Goron area next, I think. But Ooh. we're definitely gonna do. Yeah, what, we talked about some of the side quests. We're gonna eventually do clips, like Nico said. And then I think you suggested Nico a really good idea, which is like some some builds. So yeah. I want to do that, but I do want to play some more and like. Oh yeah. We got because I still haven't gotten a lot of battery and stuff like that. So we'll do builds. I'll show you the way. Yeah. I'll show you. Thank the way. you. <laughs> With your seven batteries. <laughs> hey, no, you no. I only have six and a half. Six. <laughs> six. Five. Five and six three and quarters. Or two third. thirds. Five and two thirds. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Sorry, oh. I overshot it. <laughs> Avi, since you're our special guest yeah. this episode, do you wanna do you wanna promote yourself? Myself. Oh, something man. of yours <laughs> um sure uh i occasionally stream on twitch my handle is i ate avocado like avocado uh, but with my <laughs> name instead <laughs> avi <laughs> um and i i do have an instagram that i rarely post to but it is called the underscore art pit like armpit but art <laughs> you can i have a theme <laughs> um, it, it's it's avocados in case you can tell <laughs> um, inspired by the character kato from uh Kakariko Village, yes, of, of course, course. entirely <laughs> mm, of course um but yeah I, I sometimes post art um and yeah you can see what i do over there he's cool well, thanks for <laughs> thanks for joining us oh thank you so much for having me it was a lot of fun um everyone knows where to find all our stuff uh, it's down below links in the description mm -hmm. um and yeah we'll see everybody next week we'll be talking about goron city all right see you later. Bye. bye, bye.